hello everyone and welcome back to queen varieties channel on today's episode i'm super super excited to share with you the very last video in my platform guys in the year 2019 this rice tastes incredibly and absolutely delicious and what we are making is oven baked party jollof rice recipe please watch this video to the very end to see an extra bonus which i have specially prepared for you from the title of this video you can see we are making oven party jollof rice recipe and i want to make this recipe as simple as um, possible so i have steamed my beef off camera if you don't know how to steam your beef click on the eye icon to watch how you can make that perfectly so now i'm adding some little quantity of oil in my frying pan because we are going to fry the beef that i have already cooked um, off camera we are using medium heat to fry this beef and then um, i just want to add some little drops of um, onions to infuse some flavors inside um, the beef now dropping the beef inside the hot oil so try not to overcrowd the pot during the frying process so that everything will fry very well we'll be frying on two to three minutes then i'll flip it usually i don't like my beef to be too dry while i'm frying it so two to three minutes later i'm just setting them out of the oil because i want it to also be moist during the eating process going to add the remaining beef and continue frying until i have fried all my beef so this is what you will do until you have fried the quantity of beef that you have so guys i've completely fried all my beef what i'm going to do now is to make the stew preparation and to do that I'm transferring the same oil I used to fry the beef inside this pot. So I'm passing it across my sieve so that I'll extract some of um, the dried stuff. The oil is heated. I'll add in my onions. I'm using two combinations of onions, the purple and white onions inside the pot right now. I've been frying the onions for only about um, two minutes. So the flavors have penetrated into the oil. Now I'll add a combination of um, ginger, garlic and then um, spicy hot pepper inside the pot. So I'm starting it to infuse its flavor only for one good minute. So now I'm going to add a combination of um, spice mix which I have just created here. I have here some turmeric, oregano, some Italian herbs. I also have some cumin and then um, some coriander. I also have some curry, some thyme, some basil, dry basil, oregano, <laughs> paprika, and whatsoever. So guys, I've created just a spice mix here. So I'll be using a tablespoon and a half of um, the spice mix. So I'll infuse the flavor for at least extra 30 minutes to 1 minute so that everything will be very flavorful. Now I'm going to add my tomato puree. This is a very thick um, paste. And I'm using three tins of um, this tomato puree, and this is about um, 140 grams of tomato puree. So I'll just scoop all the three tins, as you can see right here, into the pot. Fry this thin tomato in the pot here for 10 good minutes, just to eliminate all the sour flavor or the weird flavor of the thin tomatoes. So please you'll be stirring this continuously for good 10 minutes until the appearance of this tomato paste changes so see you guys in 10 minutes time 10 minutes later guys and you can see that the tin tomato has completely changed in appearance and look that means everything has been totally eliminated let's introduce my cooked fresh tin tomatoes this tomato has already been cooked down for um, 10 minutes and i'm using two tins of them um, this fresh tin tomatoes so this is the tomato container i'm using just this particular one i'm using two of it so i'm pouring it right now inside the pot cook the tin tomato and the fresh tomato i just added right now in the pot for only five minutes five minutes later guys which is a total period of uh, 15 good minutes we have taken our time to build the background flavor of um, this jollof um, rice what i'm going to add right now into the pot is my washed rice we are going to toast this rice also for five minutes before we add liquid inside it so on your screen right now you can see the type of rice i am using for those of you who have been asking me what type of rice do i use for my recipes so you will see it right now on the screen so this toasting method is very very important so that all the flavors will be infused inside the rice 
so for five minutes now i have been toasting this rice can you see how reddish the rice is yes so all the flavors have been totally infused inside them the rice that means you're going to result with a very flavorful rice so now we are going to pour the stock inside the pot so if you're using chicken stock or turkey stock or whatsoever thing you're using this is the time to pour it and i'm using beef stock so i'll just pour all the beef stock right into the pot right now so take your time and mix remember we have not added any salt yet that is because um we cooked the beef stock outside the camera so we will mix everything first before we will decide whether to add them um, salt or not two no cubes inside the pot then i will include some salt add some little quantity of water because you will want the rice to cook very well in the oven you don't want your rice to come out too hard Mix your rice with your water. Make sure the water is um, the same level with um, your rice so that um, it will not be mushy in nature. So the pot I'm using to cook this rice is oven friendly. I'll just cover the pot and then transfer to the oven. But if you're not using an oven friendly pot, you just have to transfer it to your baking tray or any oven bowl of your choice and then transfer to the oven once you have mixed everything very well. So just make sure that your water is the same level with your rice as you can see like i said earlier on the pot i'm using is an oven friendly um pot so now i'm going to transfer to the oven and then bake i've been preheating my oven since i've been mixing the rice into this um, stew so please make sure your you preheat your oven before you add your rice into it i have some bay leaves here i'm going to stock in some sticks of um, bay leaves inside the pot because i forgot the bay leaves while i was making the stew so I'll just stick in some sticks of um, bay leaves inside this, the rice for flavor. Push it in there. So I'll cover this pot now and then carry it into the oven. Now the pot is in the oven and baking and I'm using 150 degrees Celsius to bake um, the rice. So we're going to leave it there for maybe 40 minutes or above i will let you know how many minutes um, it turned out so please just keep an eye on it so here i have the rice out of the oven Bring you guys closer to the pot so that you will see what we have here yes guys this is what we have here you can see the rice is perfectly cooked now the rice is perfectly cooked so somehow i forgot the rice <laughs> in the oven i told you i was going to cook for 40 minutes but um right now i'm almost um, one hour in the cooking process i was doing something in my sitting room and i kind of um forgot i placed the rice in the oven guys so please keep an eye on it between um 40 minutes to um 50 good minutes baking process well, the rice tastes super super delicious and guys can you see the color of this rice this is a party friendly recipe so now i'm going to scoop in just um, two tablespoons of um, butter inside this rice and mix everything very well the butter is going to bring in a different kind of flavor and it's going to make the rice to be very tasty Trust me on this. So I'll take you off the camera now and take my time and mix the butter inside the rice. I'll bring you back later. So guys, I'll transfer the pot once again back to the oven for only 3 minutes or 5 minutes so that the butter will work effectively in the rice. Then we'll serve it. So while the rice is back to the oven for just three minutes, I want to use three minutes to prepare the garnish. We're going to use to serve the rice. One tablespoon of butter. I'm stirring the butter just for thirty seconds to be a little more fragrant. The appearance of the butter has changed. The flavor has come out very well. I'll add onions, and I'm using a combination of white and purple onions. So just toss this a little bit in the oil, just for thirty seconds. Thirty seconds later, the onions has caramelized a little bit. Now bring in my bell peppers. I'm using the green and the red bell peppers. 
So we are stir frying just for 30 seconds extra and then we will add the beef. A little pinch of salt on the vegetables. Just pinch of salt. So I am comfortable with what I'm seeing right now. Can you guys see how colorful and beautiful and crispy it's looking? So now I'll add the beef inside the pot. The beef we fried earlier on. I will mix in the beef here for two good minutes to take in the flavor. Guys, I guarantee this recipe is going to be absolutely delicious. In fact, it tastes super amazing. Because here we are infusing the flavors of the butter and vegetable inside the beef. And the outcome is so, so yummy. Two minutes later guys and our party is set. Right now the flavors have been perfectly infused inside the beef and guys the vegetables taste super super amazing. Can you guys see what we have here? This is what we have here. You see guys how beautiful it's looking? Yes. Thank you so much for joining me in today's episode. This is the last recipe you will be receiving from Queen Varieties channel in the year 2019. So we are wrapping it up for the year 2019. Until next time when I will upload video, I will be seeing you after a year period and then see you in 2020, one year time. <laughs>